Namaste, my name is Sonia and we are continuing to learn the Hindi alphabet. Uh, in the last video, I left off here with this sh, which is a sibilant, and we are going to learn one more sibilant, which is also sh. Uh, so there is no real functional difference in the pronunciation, and this is how we make sh. Okay? So it's. Uh, you know, sh, like ship. Take care. S. And then the next letter is a s, s, which is our s. Um, and this is how we make s, like this. And that is s, like cinnamon. So these are our sibilants, okay, which just means a, a, a variant of the S sound, either a sh or a s. Um, the next one is an aspirate, which means you have to make a H sound and that's actually the H in Hindi. So, and here's how we make it. Like this. Huh. Okay, like hello. Huh. Okay. And that's our aspirate. The last three on a standard Hindi alphabet chart uh, are combination letters that come from Sanskrit. Um, so this one is ksh, ksh, like uh, the X sound, okay, ksh. So this is how we make that. Ksh. So it's X, like um, action, okay, ksh. So it's a combination of k and sh, as we can hear when we pronounce it. The next one is tr, tr. Okay, so tr. That's um, like if you have heard the French tra, you know that's the tr, t, and r sound. Uh, that we have. So a combination of T and R together. Okay, and the last one on the chart is Gya. Gya right here. Okay, and this is how we make Gya. So it's G, uh, G and Y together, G and Y. Okay, so for instance, if you know the Japanese dish gyoza, gyo, gyo, chicken. That is a sound. And these are the combination letters from Sanskrit. Okay. I'm actually going to add one more letter here that is not traditionally found on a, on a standard in the alphabet chart, but we often see it. Um, so it's shr, okay? And this is how we make it, like this. Shr, and that's a combination of sh and r together. For instance, like shrine, okay, shr. Okay, so just as a review, we have the sibilants sh, okay, as in chip, s, as in sam, then we have the aspirate h, as in hello, okay, then we have the combination letters from Sanskrit, we have ksh, okay, as in action, we have tr, okay, twa. Okay, gyo as in gyoza, okay, and then shra as in shrine. So we just finished going over uh, in our previous videos 
the entire Hindi alphabet from A, uh, the vowel, all the way to G, the combination consonant from Sanskrit. But uh, I would also like to add some dotted consonants that occur in Hindi reading and writing, okay, that are not uh, found in a standard alphabet chart, but they are in uh, practice makes perfect basic Hindi, okay. So these are this way. So we already know K, okay, that's our K. Okay. This sound, when we put a dot underneath, becomes more like a Q, okay, so it's K. And these sounds, these five sounds, are coming from Perso Arabic. That's why, um, you know, it's a, a little bit more glottal, okay, so um, K. And then the next one is, it is K. Excuse me, but when you say it, it um, it has more uh, throat into it, like kh, kh, like you might hear it in kh, like that. And then um, this is g, but a little bit more in your throat again, g. Okay. Um, and these two sounds we hear, uh, the difference is more pronounced. Okay. So this instead of a j. Okay, instead of a j, okay, right here, it, if we put a dot underneath, it transforms into a z, okay, and um, this one was a ph here, h, then we put a dot underneath, it sounds more like a soft f, okay, like this. Um, so, to be honest, uh, in Hindi reading and writing, it's good to be aware of these three sounds, but they typically get ignored um, by native Hindi speakers. These two are more pronounced. Okay? And then this one, this sound takes getting used to a little bit. Um, so it's a combination of an R and a D, and that to a rolling one. So um, it sounds like R. So it's a retroflex, okay, so you curl your tongue and flip it forward and it's pronounced R, R, okay. And we will see that more in reading and writing, okay, so for instance we have R, okay, and then R, like that, so R. Okay. So we are going to start um, our reading practice in Hindi. And I've put together some two-letter words that we can um, try to join and pronounce in Hindi. Uh, this is in Practice Makes Perfect Basic Hindi. Um, so I've written these out on the board. So the first one, we have A, M, Aam. Okay, so Aam, that's mango. Okay, the second one. We have gh, r, ghar. Okay, that means home. Number three, ch, t, chat. Ch, t, chat means roof or ceiling. Okay, the next one we have j, l, jal. Okay. It's a formal name for water. Okay. And the next one we have n, l, nun. Okay. Word for faucet. Then we have u, n, un. Okay. Wool. Okay. And then the last one sh, r, m, shr, m, shram. Okay. So shram means lake. Now we will do some reading practice with verbs. Um, so these are verb stems in Hindi, not the infinitive form of the verb. Uh, so the first one is pa, r, par. Okay, that means to study or read. Okay. Ka, r, kar. Okay, do. Ch, l, chal, okay, walk or move. R, 
or k rak to keep okay ch or k chuck okay so that's the word to use when you want to try food in hindi um so that's for taste and then dh and l dhal okay means to set um as in the sun okay and the last one th k thak okay become tired so par kar chal rak chak dhal aur thak So to enable us to read Hindi and write Hindi better, uh, I'm referring to an exercise in Practice Makes Perfect Basic Hindi, exercise 4.4, page 26. Um, this exercise distinguishes the Hindi letters that might look similar, but their sounds and shapes are completely different. So, for instance, we have five examples here: um, this letter versus this letter. Okay. So this one, as we might recall, is g. Okay, so that's basically like a g sound. And then this one, the only difference is this loop, you know, which we don't cover. So that is a d sound. D, g versus d. Okay. In the next example, we have this letter, this, and this. So this one is ch. Okay. This one, this part is kind of roundish. Okay. And that is y. Okay. And this one has a loop that is not being covered, and that is th. Okay. In the third example, this one is d. Okay, so that's a very aspirated d eight sound d. Okay, and this one. So this this has a loop, but it does not stretch out. And then this one stretches out. So that's our soft uh, dental d. 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 So d versus d. Okay. In the next example. This one is our second letter, k, and then this can also be seen separately as r and v. Okay, so that's our r, and this is our v or w. Okay, so that's why it's important to write these close together so that we know it's a k. Okay. And in the next example, I often see this um, because it's kind of an inversion. Okay, so the first letter is J. That's our J. And then this one that we already saw is Ch. Okay. So if you want to see a few more examples of letters that might look similar uh, at first glance, but they have different sounds and shapes you can refer to exercise 4.4 in pmp practice makes perfect we will transition into some speaking practice for today so i would like to share with you how we say nice to meet you in hindi okay so we say aap se milkar khushi hui aap se milkar khushi hui so with you having met happiness happened okay so nice to meet you and then how do we say sorry in hindi okay there are two ways we can say maaf kijiye okay it basically means forgive me theek hai or we can say kshama kijiye maaf kijiye kshama kijiye okay 
So our homework for today is uh, from Practice Makes Perfect, Basic Hindi, Exercise 4.2 and 4.3. And as I indicated in my previous videos, I would encourage you to write out the letters we covered uh, from sh to uh, the rolling rds, r, okay, the combination and dotted consonants, all of them, three times each that will enable us to read and write Hindi better. Um, and uh, next time we will cover diacritic marks, so you will be able to read the all the marks that we use in Hindi, like these. Okay, so we will begin reading Hindi. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Namaste.